Hello and welcome to Everything Star Wars. Today we're going to talk about why is Solo bombed right now. Hi again, welcome to Everything Star Wars. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe and hit the notification down below so you will be aware of future Star Wars content that I have to deliver to the Star Wars universe. Why did Solo bomb? It, it's a question that's boggling the mind of Disney and probably Kathleen Kennedy. It's very simple why it bombed. I think we all know it. And if you don't know, let me explain. It bombed because of Kathleen Kennedy. It bombed because of The Last Jedi. It bombed because the fans are upset and had a boycott. There's lots of reasons it could have bombed, but we'll see. This weekend is one, it's, as you know, it's been out for one week, which is incredible. I saw it one week ago, how fast time flies. This weekend will be the make or the break weekend. It's that simple. So let me get into more of the reasons that I feel that this movie could have bombed and what Disney said. Disney gave the excuse that it bombed because it was Memorial Day weekend. It was a weekend where everybody's, oh, you got three days, so everybody's traveling and barbecuing and all this stuff. Okay, you know, I don't know if I buy that. I don't know if anybody buys that. So then, days later, they came out with an excuse saying it was Star Wars fatigue. You really think that just because a movie came out in December and they put another one out within six months that we wouldn't want to see the movie? If it's got a great story, why wouldn't we want to see the movie? That, I'm not buying that. Star Wars fatigue, no. Then came out the excuse, well, too many movies were put out and so therefore everybody can't afford it. That's a possibility, I'll give you that. They did, see, listen, when you have something that's working, why would you want to, if it ain't broke, you don't have to fix it. So you put out a movie in December making billions of dollars and you decide, let's put it out in May. Now, I don't understand it because in May you had well, not in May, but I should say you've, we've had a lot of blockbuster movies. We have Black Panther, we've had Thor, we've had Black Panther, Thor, we've had Avengers, we've had Deadpool right before, the week before, and then you have Star Wars. Now, if you're paying like $17 and up a ticket, yeah, sure, you take two people, three people, four people, that adds up a movie. That really adds up a movie. That's why some people, yeah, I know, I've heard they can't go. But I really don't think that these are the major reasons, these excuses that Disney is given. To me, there is one reason, and one reason only. Well, let's say three. One is Kathleen Kennedy. Everybody's mad at her political views and her feminist views and everything she's going, the way she's going about things. And her messages she's trying to get across, especially in The Last Jedi. Two is The Last Jedi. How many of us grew up with Luke Skywalker? Here's a guy who, very young, doesn't even realize his father, uh, that's a spoiler by the way, his father is the main enemy. His father, he's able to take his father who slaughtered God knows how many Jedis and younglings and had no heart, no soul, just didn't care, all for his own benefit, for his power, for his greed. And he was the only one able to break through and say, there's conflict within you. I can feel the good in you. Now, he's our hero. And look what you turned him into. Some miserable, depressed, sad old man who want nothing to do with anybody. Okay, why on earth would you make a map for people to come find you if you didn't want to be found anyway? What sense did that make? So our hero is now half shell of himself, he wants to, to get away from the force, doesn't want to be bothered with anything because he failed. Everybody fails and, and that's the greatest success you can have is when you fail because it pushes you to learn and to succeed in life. This is a Jedi Master. What Jedi Master didn't make a mistake? Come on, they're all human. But to turn in from a great, big, powerful, Jedi to this weak, feeble person, and this is what you're giving us? Of course, 
the fans wanted to boycott. Of course, everybody was upset. To me, I, I saw it. I saw Solo. I enjoyed it. I would put it up there as number two on the list of the four Disney movies. I thought it was really good. The characters, the whole thing, it flowed. It was fun. It was very enjoyable. There's a couple parts they could have cut out, but, you know, it didn't ruin the movie for me. I thought it was really good. And a lot of people are saying they really enjoyed it. And everybody has their own opinion. That's fine if you didn't enjoy it. Feel free to comment below how you feel, how you feel about Kathleen Kenny, how you feel about The Last Jedi, how you felt about Solo, if you saw it, why you didn't see it. Feel free, that's what the comment section is all about. You're entitled to your opinion, and I always value people's opinions. So, you know, could it have been fatigue? Could it have been people went away? You know, if, if people went away, then this weekend will be the weekend that they decide, that we decide as universe whether you're gonna see it or not. Some people didn't want this movie. Some people are like, why couldn't you put out Kenobi? Why couldn't you put out Vader? Why couldn't you put out Boba Fett? You know, some people just said, oh, Hensel's okay, but he's, he's not the hero. Why didn't you put out Luke between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens, what he was doing? You know, because he, you know, he was doing things. He was trying to discover the truths and trying to discover the, the, the Jedi way and all that stuff. He, he was looking for artifacts, he, 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 the books, everything. He was trying to study and figure the whole thing out. He, there's a lot of material that they could use. How about Vader in the, in the Jedi Purge? Could use that between, um, you know, Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. That would have been a fantastic movie. Who wouldn't have gone to see a Vader movie? Really, who wouldn't have gone to see Vader? Look what happened at the end of Rogue One. That was phenomenal. Everybody loved that. And that put the movie over the top. It, it's, you know, this is the truth. The truth is that fans had enough. And they want to get the point out. They want to get it out there. Hey, look, give us what we want. And what really, what bothers me about Kathleen Kennedy is here's George Lucas who gives three movies and said, this is how I would like it to end. This is my story. This is the final three movies. And she goes, okay. And then she goes, no, I want to give the fans what they want. Are you really giving the fans what they want? That's my question. Are you really giving us what we want? I enjoyed Solo. I would have enjoyed it more if it was Vader or, or so, yes, another story. I really, at first, was like, ah, Solo, whatever. Okay. But changed my mind. I saw the trailer, I saw, went to, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go see the movie my friends wanted to go see. We all enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie, but neither here nor there, neither here nor there. And that's it. I mean, basically, the universe is mad. We're divided. The, the Last Jedi divided the universe, and this is why right now bombed. Now, let me define one more thing before we go. Bombed. It made 103 million. Do you know how many movies and 103 million for an opening weekend that we crave. I can tell you Ant-Man, Ocean's 11, 12, and 13, supposed to be big hits, didn't do that total at the box office on their first weekend. On their first weekend, they didn't do it. The reason it's called bombing, why it bombed, is because out of the four Star Wars movies, opening weekend, it came below the total. It was last at 103 million. That's how good so far Star Wars is. That's how great, that's how much we love Star Wars. But you're ruining it. She's ruining it. That's the bottom line. And also imagine this, Disney had a 250 million budget. They also predicted it would make 150 million and it made 103. There's your word for the bomb. So those of you who understand, that's the why they're saying it bombed. 150 million, 103. It made less. 250 million budget, 103. This week, weekend, we'll make it, we'll break it. There's also merchandising, and if you didn't know, all the Star Wars movies before it was sold made four billion dollars. Four billion in merchandising. You know, you're talking about school bags and action figures and games and toothbrushes and whatever else, lunch boxes, whatever else. It made forty billion dollars. That's incredible. If you want to leave a comment down below, or whatever, however you feel about all of this, and uh, you know, that's about it. If you could also check the description down below if you're interested in Bitcoin, um, my buddy Tony Vays is very, very good at Bitcoin. There'll be an introduction. You may want to check out that video. And um, that's really it. Check the description down below for, for Amazon and some other stuff. Till next time, this is Robert Delva speaking for all of us. May the force be with you. 
Take care.